So Buddhism is all about numbers, it seems. We have the Four Noble Truths. We have the Eightfold Path. And we have the Five Precepts. So the Five Precepts are very similar to the Eightfold Path. Um, and it's really along the lines of don't take the life of anything living. So most Buddhists would be vegetarians. Do not take anything not freely given. That means don't steal. Abstain from overindulgence, so too much of a good thing. Um, too much eating, too much playing video games, if they had those back then. Refrain from untrue speech, that means don't tell lies. And avoid intoxication, which would be most likely drug and alcohol use, because drugs and alcohol mean that you are not in your clear mind and you can't make good decisions. I think... Um, as we see here that these are very, like I said before, very broad ideas. Buddhism also has the idea of karma. What goes around comes around. Um, if we do a wholesome action, eventually we will get a wholesome fruit. And if we do an unwholesome action, eventually we will get an unwholesome painful result. So in modern language, if you do good, expect good back. If you do bad, expect that it is going to come back to haunt you. There are two uh, different sections of Buddhism, the Theravada and Zen Buddhism. And as you can see, they're located in different parts of Asia. And this guy, he's an important figure in Buddhism. Okay, He is the Dalai Lama. Now, the Dalai Lama is not... Um, a name that is unique to him. He's actually the 14th Dalai Lama. His name is Tenzin Yatso. And part, one of the, the sects of Buddhism believes that the Buddha has been reincarnated. So when the Buddha died, um, they found someone that thought that he was the Buddha and um, the compassion of the Buddha reincarnated. So I guess that the thought is, well, Siddhartha Gautama, if he was the Buddha, he would have reached enlightenment, which means that he would have got nirvana, which means that he would not have to have been reincarnated. But the idea is that his compassion has lived on through other people and they are able to spread that compassion and that kindness to the living. So um, there have been 14 incarnations of the Dalai Lama. And this guy right here, he's um, in his 70s now. So he's the Dalai Lama, the 14th Dalai Lama. And when he dies... The monks will go try to find a new child that they think that he has reincarnated into. The Dalai Lama is, uh, again, it's a title, so think of it like queen, king, uh, priest. So he wasn't born and named that. Uh, and he really, again, just spreads compassion and well-being to other people. He lives in Tibet. Remember I mentioned Tibet? Uh, several slides ago. <laughs> Tibet. He's living in Tibet. And he, uh, he's pretty, uh, in line with these thoughts of the Four Noble Truths and compassion and right mind and right speech. You can follow him on Twitter and read some of his tweets. That's all there is. There isn't any more.